Well, bonjour, oh, bonsoir, or heck, everything in between. Salutations, let's do that. Greetings, welcome to another online card magic learning experience. And for me, this is one of the big three card tricks that kind of changed my life. There's a few of them. I had Sirocco's lesson on Doc Daly's last card trick. That was eye-opening. And then there was Harry Lorraine had a lesson on the overhand shuffle in his book called The Magic magic book and this blew my mind these lessons but prior to either of those there was this trick from you know what I'll tell you where it's from in a minute let me do it for you it's a pick a card trick we got them shuffled a card needs to be selected you're there so I'm just gonna here I'll just grab one from uh, the middle at random your job's to remember it if you choose to if you don't there will be no plot your choice Card goes in the middle. I'm not gonna find the card, so it's a little off the beaten path in that respect. I don't have to find the card as I have helper cards that will do that for me. Let me introduce you to them now. It happens when I tap the deck. Yeah, just the tap of the deck. You know what that does, huh? It hurts, it hurts the finger. But also, along with the entertainment, it activates, let me show you the jolly, Jumping jokers, can you see them now? Look, two cards have transformed, flipped and flopped. That's what they do, they flip, flop, and fly around the deck. Here, the jolly jumping jokers will do more of the same as one goes flip, flopped on the face of the pack. One flip, flopped at the rear, and in less than a second, they flip, flop, and fly. Find one card from the pack, and if your selected card was the 10 of clubs, and I think it was, I peeked at the monitor, and our task has been accomplished, there it is. Quick as a wink, and that's the name of the trick, quick as a wink, finding a selected card with two jokers. So I would discover this gem. I'm walking through the mall back in the 80s. I was living in Dothan, Alabama, hanging out in the mall as, uh, what was I, 11 years old? On the bookshelf, Carl Fold's Self-Working Card Tricks and more Self-Working Card Tricks. I bought both of those books. This trick, as Carl describes, quick as a wink is in there. I'll tell you what, before I describe quick as a wink, let's take a moment and talk about a little actual sleight of hand. This is like a self-working trick, but this action move, which I think is what attracted me to this trick, Reinhard Mueller's three card catch. Without this move, this trick doesn't exist. So let's take a minute and talk about this. I'll also note that this move can be found in Carl Fulve's Epilogue magazine. This is a wonderful compilation that l and Publishing put out. You can get your hands on that book. If you like sleight of hand, you won't be sad about it. So the notion of the three card catch is with two jokers or any two sandwich cards above and below the deck, they can catch a card from between them as the deck is thrown from hand to hand. This is the Reinhard Mueller three card catch. Here's the details. We'll work with, uh, let's say we're trying to get the top card because that's the effect we're gonna, the card we're gonna use in this effect. One of the jokers gets reversed at the face of the pack and then the second joker gets reversed at the rear, the back of the pack, but we're gonna side jog it for about half its length to the left. So this is our condition, a reverse joker here, side jogged, and then the manner in which they get placed into the left hand is, is important. The fingertips are gonna contact the back of the selected card, and the base of the fingertips are going to contact the joker. So, fingertips touching the, fa the back of the card, base of the fingertips contacting the joker, and then the thumb rests on top, and we're applying light pressure from the thumb and the fingertips at the base. With light pressure applied, I'm going to jerk to the right and then back to the left, like this. As I do so, I'm gonna open slightly and release the lion's share of the deck, and you'll find that the selected card will maintain between the two jokers with the pressure of the fingertips. So it'll maintain its position. From here, light pressure, jerk and pull back, boom. This is just a variation of the Hofzinser two card catch. This in Hofzinser's Card Conjuring. And I think it's worth noting actually, let me mention Mike Rogers was actually kind of first to the plate. He published this as a coin trick in Mom Magazine and he would put a coin above and below the deck. So one coin would go here, maybe one coin go here. 
And then how does this even work? Like this, the coins trap the desired card. So nod to Mike Rogers. All right, but let's get to the details on how you might be able to perform this quick as a wink trick. And as noted, you can find this in print in the Carl Fulv self-working series. You want to start with the two jokers at the rear of the deck, but reversed. And this is going to place them in kind of a key card situation. They're going to locate the selected card for us later. I should note that as I open this video, I, I do have an X card on the face of the deck when I start this trick so that I can do things like fan the pack or maybe I want to do some other tricks that don't involve the two reverse cards. You know, maybe do something like a ribbon spread. I'm just not spreading this face card here. And then when I'm ready to do the trick, I do use a sleight of hand move, the milk shuffle. We talked about the overhand shuffle, Harry Lorraine's lesson. This is the overhand shuffle, right? Overhand shuffling. Well, if you start doing that, but use your fingertips to apply pressure here, you can milk that face card away. So I'm shuffling off the top, but secretly pulling off the bottom, milking the card, and that will get rid of that unwanted card at the face of the pack, allowing us to get into the needed setup for the quick as a wink handling. So from here, it's basically self-working. We're going to invite our spectator to select a card from the center of the pack. As the spectator makes the selection, we break the deck at that point and table the upper half in uh, preparation for a key card placement. I mentioned this earlier. So the spectator has selected the card and now we're going to infer the cards going back in the middle. You just say here, put it back in the middle as you drop this portion on top of it. And what that's actually doing is placing the two jokers above the selected card. And this will be used to our advantage in just a moment. So yeah, put your card back and we'll just put it here. And now we do a little bit of presentation, you know, boom, boom, tappy tap, it hurts my fingers. If you don't do the presentation, the effect is not going to be nearly as well received. This is the stuff that makes the magic magic. So use your mental energy to craft something meaningful for your spectators and then proceed with the magic part where we reveal the two jokers have magically turned face up. If you have a table to ribbon spread, you can do this first and then go back for a hand-to-hand -hand spread. And then you want to table the up, upper half to the table, table the two jokers, and then table this half on top of the tabled half, which will control the selected card to the top of the pack. This is the automatic key card placement control. Thank you, Carl Fulves. We love this. To bring this thing home, we just do the Reinhard Mueller three card catch. So we go back, one joker goes reversed on the top, one joker reversed side jog to the left, fingertips in placement, a little bit of pressure, sharp left and right jerk, maintain, and then note I turn my hand down. I don't leave this face up to expose it quickly. After the catch, I turn my hand down and table this to give a little drama to the situation. Spread the deck face up, show all the cards are indifferent, build your drama. What did you pick? Oh, really? Well, this doesn't work every time. But it did this time, what? And that's your lesson on Reinhard Mueller's three card catch, yo. Carl Fold, you've left us, but thank you for printing that self-working card trick series. They literally changed my life. I hope this lesson has some influence on yours, and I thank you for spending some time with me.